Today's topic is vertigo. Vertigo is a medical condition that is characterized by a spinning sensation, where a person feels like they or the objects around them are moving or spinning. This spinning sensation may be barely noticeable or may be so intense, making normal life very difficult. Attacks of vertigo can develop suddenly and last for a short while or for very long hours or even days. It can happen at any age, but is more common in older people, about 65 years and over. There are different types of vertigo. Peripheral vertigo usually occurs as a result of a disturbance in the organs of the inner ear. Central vertigo is connected to the problem in the central nervous system. It is usually associated with a disturbance in either the brainstem or the cerebellum. Causes Different diseases and conditions can cause vertigo. They include Labyrinthitis. This is an inflammation of the inner ear. Meniere's disease. A buildup of fluid in the inner ear can also cause vertigo. Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, where a certain head movement triggers vertigo. It usually affects older adults. Brainstem disease, such as stroke. Other causes of vertigo include head injuries or trauma, ear surgery, migraine headaches, prolonged bed rest, some certain medications, syphilis. Signs and symptoms, vomiting, nausea, dizziness, a loss of balance that makes standing or walking difficult, lightheadedness, a headache, a feeling of fullness in the ear. Diagnosis. During an evaluation, the healthcare provider may obtain a full history of symptoms and events, including medications that have been taken, migraine headache, recent head injury, or ear infection. A physical examination is then performed. During a physical examination, the doctor may likely look for signs and symptoms of dizziness that are triggered by eye or head movements, inability to control eye movements, involuntary movement of the eye from side to side. If the cause is difficult to determine, additional testing may be ordered. An MRI scan to visualize your head and body. The doctor can use the images to identify and diagnose a range of conditions. Video nystemography, or VNG, that uses a camera to measure involuntary eye movement while the head is placed in different positions. This can help to detect if the dizziness is due to inner ear disease. The patient wears a pair of glasses that contain video cameras. Electronystagmography, or ENG, is similar to VNG, but in this procedure, electrodes are used to detect abnormal eye movement. The patient wears a headset that places electrodes around the eyes. Treatment. Some types of vertigo resolve without treatment. Prescription drugs such as lorazepam, meclizine, can be used to relieve the dizziness caused by Meniere's disease. Symptoms of nausea can be relieved by using drugs such as antihistamines. Steroids, antiviral drugs, or antibiotics may be prescribed for a patient with an acute disorder affecting the middle ear. Sometimes benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, or BPPV, can be treated with an inner surgery. A bone plug is inserted into the inner ear to block the area triggering vertigo. Avoiding caffeine, alcohol, and tobacco smoking can also help. The volume of the fluid retained in the body that can build up in the inner ear can also be reduced by restricting salt. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.